Hey readers, welcome to Cozy Time Tales. Today we're going to be reading Little Boo Saves the Halloween by Agnes Green and Helen Patyokima. Little Boo Saves the Halloween Little Boo is a witch with a tall pointy hat. She carries a broom and she has a black cat. Boo's happy this holiday's finally here. Halloween is her favorite day of the year. There's plenty to get done before it turns night. Candy, treats to collect, jack-o'-lanterns to light. So Boo gets her wagon. She puts the cat in, then sets off to pick out the perfect pumpkin. The autumn airs crisp as the leaves on the ground, which crackle all colors from yellow to brown. In windows of houses all down the road, Hang cobwebs and banners and spiders and toads. And out of those houses spill onto the streets all manners of monsters, ghouls, ghosties, and beasts. Let's find out which spooky friends Little Boo meets. From house number one comes the click clacking sound of a skeleton's bones as he rattles around. When the skeleton hears what Boo's going to do, he joins in beside her, and then there were two. From house number two comes a spine tingling. Ooh! This ghost shines so brightly, she almost see through. When the ghost hears what Boo and the skeleton are going to do, she says, Oh, how lovely! May I join the crew? At house number three flaps a little fanged bat, which turns into a vampire and frightens the cat. When the vampire hears what Boo the skeleton and the ghost are going to do, he follows at speed. Why, he practically flew! From house number four creeps a gruesome gargoyle. His skin is all green and quite covered in boils. When the gargoyle hears what Boo the skeleton, the ghost, and the vampire are going to do, he chuckles and takes up his place in the queue. At house number five, reams of bandages flow from the mummy who is wrapped from her head to her toes. When the mummy hears what Boo, the skeleton, the ghost, the vampire, and the gargoyle are going to do, she decides she's quite like to join in with them too. From house number six comes a rumbling growl. A werewolf steps forward and lets out a howl. When the werewolf hears what Boo, the skeleton, the ghost, the vampire, the gargoyle, and the mummy are going to do, he joins in the gang with a joyful ow -woo! So Boo and the skeleton, the ghost, the vampire, the gargoyle, the mummy and the werewolf all make their way to the pumpkin patch, but when they got there, there's one teeny catch. There is only one pumpkin left. The friends are downhearted. The ghost moans, Boo hoo! Our Halloween's ruined. Now what do we do? Then Boo has an idea and gets rather excited. I'll throw a big party, and you're all invited. So the friends take the pumpkin back to Boo's place. They scoop out the seeds, carve the spookiest face. When the lantern is lit with a big glowing grin, it is time for the party games to begin. Bobbing for apples, trick or treat, Bags full of licorice, lollies, and sweets. They party all night, through till sunrise at dawn, when all little monsters get sleepy with yawns. Now climb into bed, for this Halloween's done, but we'll see you next year for more spooky fun. Happy Halloween, everyone! The End Thanks for watching Cozy Time Tales. Don't forget to like and subscribe.